Okay, now wasteful spending by government departments remains a concern. A new correctional services facility in the Free State has not been finished, even though the contractor was paid millions of rand. Public Works and Infrastructure Minister Sikhese Galala visited this center that's unfinished in Paris today. ENCA's Mloko Moloto following the story, joining us now is back from Paris and our own little Paris, except it doesn't have Eiffel Tower. Yeah. That's the only thing that's missing in Paris. Okay, now on to the story on a serious note. You were there with the minister, Sikhese yeah. Galala, and uh, what is it that's happening there? Why has this project to build this new correctional service facility stored? Meanwhile, money has been paid. Yeah. So according to Minister Sikhese Galala of Public Works and Infrastructure, that particular prison facility is just one of many projects that are delayed, yet people got paid. In this particular one, the contractor was paid 130 million rent already, and work has not been concluded. He actually abandoned the project, and the department now is saying it is terminated him, and in order to conclude this particular contract, it must bring or add at least 50 million rent to bring it to conclusion. Now, the minister is going to this project. So from there, he proceeded to Bloemfontein. We just couldn't keep up to ensure that the police station there as well that has been stalled is also completed. Now, the difficulty here is that the, the, the while he, he, this contractor has been paid, and we know who this person is. This is Edwin Sodi, the controversial businessman who is involved in many other projects. Um, he was at the State Capture Commission as well. I think he gave evidence. He testified about something. Correct. I mean, here in Haman Skral, uh, the water treatment plant, he was given a 295 million rent contract to complete that particular con uh, uh, contract. He failed to do that. The same individual? Today. Yeah, the same man. Today, people have died there due to cholera because they can't get clean water. We know what has happened. Died. Yeah, we know what has happened. All in the free state, again, the asbestos tender, over 200 million rent paid. In all these co co contracts, this three... He's one of those who's of. on trial together with the ACE market. Yes, Philip. at least in that... In the asbestos case. one. Yeah. Okay. In, in all these three multi-million rent contracts, he's been paid, but work was either not done or was incomplete. Like in Paris, in this correction. Absolutely. System. Now, we spoke to the minister to say, what is the way forward then, Minister Zigalala? He says, look, we certainly, doesn't matter who you are, we are going to terminate that contract. And he says they want to recoup some of the money paid to him. Whoever was the owner of the company, we have terminated and we are going to deal with that, including ensuring that penalties are enforced and the guarantee, uh, the contract guarantee, uh, is uh, recouped back to the department. All right. So we are going to ensure that all, all projects, irrespective of who is involved or who is the a contractor. We are going to ensure that those projects are implemented in the contractor that is failing. If the contractor is failing, we will have to enforce consequence management. There's also going to have to be proper internal controls, I guess, in the Department of, of Public Works and Infrastructure, yeah. because such delays will have an impact. I wonder about this one. What does it mean for that correctional facility no, for sure. in, in Paris? The minister is saying well, we'll give him, you know, that latitude because he's fairly new in the department. He says he is putting together what he calls a turnaround strategy, but also he is going to make sure that there's an internal project management unit within the department. And that begs the question, a department that's whose responsibility is to build uh, uh, projects, why did it not have an internal uh, monitoring pr uh, uh, unit? And he says he's going to do all that. And in terms of the impact, remember, this particular present facility was uh, upgraded from, I think, uh, 87 bits 
to uh, 200, so it's going to be about 287 now. And that means that the Department of Correctional Services cannot utilize it. It was supposed to open its doors in April this year, but also not only for government in terms of the inconvenience, the subcontractors, people who had to hire the, the workers there to ensure that at least uh, there's work. He says, we spoke to one of them who says, I've not been paid all my money, and as a result, I still owe other people. Let's listen to him. Actually, he never came on, on site since from the beginning, even though the company was his. So sometimes, you see, when you look at the directors of the G5 group, he was fronting with other people, putting other people there as if the companies were else they were controlling, controlling it. Yeah. So basically here in Paris, I was the subcontractor that built all brickworks that you see, all those buildings, I'm the one who built it. Mm. And I feel so, there's nothing that I can point that I've achieved. I have lost everything. They left me with debt. I could not even pay the employees after they have left. Uh, because they could not even finish the, the buildings or the, the project, I can't even upgrade my work at, at the CIDB. Looking at the work that I've done, you know, I should be in about grade nine by so far, but I don't even have a cent in my bank account. Yeah. You did say, Muloko, that Sisley Zigalala is a new, fairly new Minister of Public yeah. Works and Infrastructure. There are several headaches he has to deal with. Yeah. One of them is bike breach. I mean, I can remember those embarrassing visuals yeah. showing that famous fence or infamous border fence that was supposed to have cost millions of rand. Yeah. And it was just such a poor quality job. Yeah, which were initially defended by those who were there before him. But we have been to that side, Braden. It's a mess. That uh, particular fence doesn't exist. It doesn't stop any person from going through. 40 million rand has been spent on that particular. Uh, other people have called it a washing line. Now, the Minister of uh, Public Works, Sikhlesigalala, says that uh, there is an effort uh, through the SIU to recover at least 15 million rent from the two companies. But we know those two companies did not appoint themselves. Who is going to be held accountable within the department? He says that uh, disciplinary processes are underway and he is now appealing to the police to come in through their criminal investigations. Okay, thank you very much. That's, uh, we'll have to see what happens with the bike bridge uh, uh, issue there, fans. He's got a lot on his plate. Thank you very much, Moloko Moloto, for that update. Having followed the Minister of Public Works in his visit uh, to Paris in the Free State, where there's an unfinished correctional services facility, the contractor was paid 130 million rand. They abandoned it. The place is not complete. Government now has to spend another 50 million rand. That's your money and my money as taxpayers. And one business individual is allegedly involved in that, in that one as well. We'll have to see what kind of consequences there will be.